Hey everyone, this is Dart. He's uh, one of our clients over the weekend. And this little guy really liked to explore. He's quite the leash puller. He's very smart, a border collie, but just didn't have the walk figured out. So, <clears throat> we had to put him through a little bit of a program to get him walking nicely. So here I am introducing Dart to his training collar and I do this by just kind of doing what I call a weird walk which is where I walk unpredictably uh, outside but in an area that doesn't have too many distractions like right in front of the home. I do this for a little while. Uh, part of what I'm doing is I'm turning away from the dog and into the dog. I go back and forth to do that a few times. So moving on, here we are starting to walk around the little neighborhood here. And now we're trying to get Dart to really figure out where the heel position is when we're moving forward and onward instead of in just a small little area. He seems to be getting the hang of it, but I am giving him a lot of good information so he knows exactly where the founders of the heel are and where they aren't. Right there, I just did a turn back away from the dog, just making sure that he knows that the walk is no longer about finding the best sense and looking for other dogs. It's really about walking at my side. We're not going anywhere particular except on a walk together. So that's why I'm making those turns. And uh, here we skip ahead to getting over to the park here. We just walk down the street a ways. Um, it's pretty hot out, so there's not a whole lot of other dogs to work with. But right now, what Dart really needs to focus on is just getting a good solid heel. So that's what we were doing there. So I'm showing how I hold the leash. I like the part that connects to the dog to come out of the pinky side of the hand, which is what I'm demonstrating. You see how it... Uh, connects to the dog from the back of my hand here, getting the owner in the same grip and guiding her through giving the dog some information through the leash. Uh, the key here is that we keep the leash loose, although here we have it slack free, but it's still loose, and then give quick, timely information before the dog actually moves out of a heel position, but when he intends to. So those quick little bits of information I'm showing her here is to show the dog where we want him and trying to get the owner to understand that we don't want to leave any tension on that line for any significant length of time. Everything happens pretty quickly. So here she is implementing some of the techniques I had just taught. Dart's still figuring out exactly where the heel position is. Sometimes he tries to go over to the other side, but that'll happen less and less as we keep walking him with this new structure. I'm showing her where exactly the dog should be at your side. I like their nose to be ideally behind my hip, but I'll allow them to come up as far as having their top of their head at my hip, but no further. Otherwise, they're starting to get ahead, which leads them to make poor decisions on leash, such as the urge to go sniff, uh, the urge to pull and lunge at other dogs. I like them right at my side, if not maybe slightly behind me. So here I transfer the leash again after giving a little more instruction and guidance. It's key that the dog's owner is able to walk away with a successful walk and not just that I can do it. So we've totally transformed the way this guy walks with his owner in just one session. And what she's doing here, she's doing some of those weird walk style turns so that Dart's tuned in to the same expectations he has with me with her. And here we are just kind of rounding out the end of this training session. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.